Alright you guys, so this is the way our bedroom looks currently. I did not bother to clean because, I mean, this is just how it is. But, um, I plan on completely changing up this room. We're getting rid of that black wall and going back to just a normal beige color that we had. Um, somebody is getting our bed frame today and I'll be ordering the new one. We got a new rug, um, gonna be painting, adding curtains, oh, Hey, I look hot, mess. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Can you hear my son? <laughs> okay. Um, for right now, we're keeping the stressor. Um, I'm going to clean up that mess over there. But for right now, we're keeping this just because it really isn't in our budget to get a new one right now. Um, keeping the mirror, all that good stuff. But, yeah. So let's get ready to transform this place. Okay, so we are starting to take apart the bed because we have somebody coming at one to pick it up. So I've already ordered our new bed frame. It is a Brookside um, bed frame. You can find them on Instagram and stuff. Um, but that won't be here for another week. So what we're going to be doing is sleeping on the floor um but i'm gonna try to clean up some of this stuff because we're also gonna roll up this rug and get it put away like in the attic and then roll out our new rug so that is the plan for right now hendrix is sleeping so we're trying to do all of this before he wakes up So if you guys are interested, you're totally not interested because you watch my wife literally just for home decor. But I'm building a PC and this is it. Pretty sick. I'm really excited to get it finished. I'm really just doing this to mess with Sydney because, you know. I don't care. Oh, she doesn't care. You hear that? She doesn't care. Okay, let's get let's get y'all set back up where you can see. Okay, so we just brought in the new rug. Um, just want to say thank you to the Loy Rugs for sponsoring us um, and sending us this rug. This is one of the Chris Loves Julia rugs, and whenever I found out that they were um, partnering together to make rugs, I have wanted one for so long. They sold out at basically like every um, opportunity there was to buy one. 
Um, so I was really excited. I got the Chris Loves Julia Lagoon and Brick Rug. So we will roll it out and show you guys. It's really soft. I like how like low hell it is. I'm about to say it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> She seemed to have forgotten about the scene. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> it's really, yeah, it's got like a. Oh, I it's love got a good it. Feeling like it's like thin but soft. Yeah. It feels almost like it's like semi cushioned. Yeah. Weird. And it's really easy to get flat. See that? <laughs> he just woke up from a nap. Say hey. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I can't just got a new rug. We got a new rug. Yeah, it gives the room a little more like look to it. Well, that's the only thing we're gonna have to really push those cords against the wall. Yeah. If the bed is right here. Or not on the frame yet. Come on, Stacey. Ooh. Stacey, man. Stacey, man. Stacey, man. Stacey, man. it's the best. Okay, so here's a close-up of it. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Um, <laughs> but... Our other one had, it was like low pill or however you say it. Um, but this is, is it pile? But this is basically flat. Um, and I really like that. I think it'll be easy to vacuum. Um, but I love the colors and it works out because I actually got some pillows from Goodwill that kind of remind me of Studio McGee. Um, and it kind of matches this blue that's in here. Um, Okay, so this is our paint color. This is what um, is all throughout the house. Um, it's by Glidden, it's called Storms Coming. Um, this is in our living room, our bedroom, all the rooms except for Hendrix's room and our office. But So we are going to start rolling this out onto our black wall. Bailey's moving on our nightstands because those um, are going to be painted. And I'm excited to get rid of this black wall, actually. I'm kind of getting tired of looking at it, so let's do it. we're almost there this is the first coat um, we are going to let this dry and then do the second coat we're using the paint to touch up some other areas in the house but I'm gonna take you guys outside with me and um, we are going to do the nightstands okay so I taped off the knobs this is the spray paint I'm gonna use um, I just got it from Target. It's black. So, this is where we are stopping at for right now. We've got the rug down, the bed is put back. Obviously, you guys know we're still waiting on the headboard that should get here next week, hopefully sooner. But these are how the nightstands turned out. I absolutely love them. 
kept the original color of the handle. It's like a dark gold or like antique um, br uh, bronze looking color. Um, I love the black. I think it adds a little bit of something um, more than what the original wood would have added. Um, my order for the curtain rods got canceled, so I'm going to have to go and like in store, I guess, and get them. They were just from Walmart, but I will show you guys the curtain process. Um, but other than like the headboard, curtains, some other decor pieces, we're like right there. But I will continue to update you guys. I am loving how they turned out. Oh, these pillows I got from Goodwill. Um, they are like a dark navy with some white and tan plaid stripes and I think they work really well for this space um, let me know what you guys think in the comments um, but this side is still a work in progress but I think it's starting to come together so stay tuned and we are calling it a night hey guys so I have been picking up a few things for our room makeover um, in the meantime, like while we're waiting for our bed frame to come in, which we should be able to get it today, hopefully. Um, you never know with deliveries and things though, so if not today, then tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. But while we were waiting, I went ahead and picked up a few things that when we do get the bed frame, we're ready to go. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Okay, let me see. Okay, first thing is I went to TJ Maxx for some of this stuff. I went to Walmart for some of this stuff. I got some stuff from Amazon, and then I got some stuff from Dirt Cheap, which that stuff is the best. So I'm saving that for last, so make sure you stick around. But um, So this stuff is from TJ Maxx I'm about to show you right now. I got some new pillows. Um, and these are extra firm because I just feel like all of our other pillows that we've gotten in the past have just gone flat so quick. Um, and these were a good price, $20 for both of them. I was going to get them from Target, but I was already at TJ Maxx and they were the same price. It would have been $10, um, per pillow at Target. So this was basically the same thing. So yeah, I got that. Um, and then I also, okay, so I was going to order these from Amazon, um, and they were going to be like, what, like $28 for two panels, they're curtains, but when I was at TJ Maxx, I just looked in the curtain section, and they had a pack of four curtain panels for $25 and I was just about to spend like $50 on curtains on Amazon or something like that so I feel like that was a really good deal um they look really soft and like airy but still like they'll give some good coverage so happy about that and then the last thing I got was um some pillowcases for our pillows uh, these were actually on clearance. I got this four pack for $8. And then, this is um, what I got from Walmart. And if you watched our dining room makeover, this is the same exact curtain rod, but in black. And Amazon has a very similar curtain rod for 25 $28 or something like that. I was just about to order them, but then I remembered that I got that one for the dining room and that they also had a black version. The dining room one's gold. So I got two of these. They're very modern looking um, with the cap on the end. Um, and these were $15. So I got two of them because we have two windows in our bedroom. So $15 compared to 25 almost $30 on Amazon or at Target because they have another um, curtain rod that's very similar to this one. 
Like, you guys seriously need to get these. They're by the Mainstays brand. I'm sure if you just looked at your Walmart, you would see them. But, so I got those because we've actually never had curtains in our bedroom. Um, like I said, our bedroom is the most neglected room in the house. So I'm glad that we're finally getting around to doing it. Um, okay, the next thing I got was these curtain rings they look like that um i really like that style like when they do that with curtains so these you know are gonna go on the curtain rod and then the curtains will clip to the bottom of them so i got a pack of these i think there are 28 of them yeah 28 um i'll try to link everything in the description too so that you guys can um pick that stuff up as well Okay, um, the next thing I got from Amazon were these USB, like, charging stations. I was just about to buy some nightstands that had built-in USB plug-ins, but then I um, looked on Pinterest and I saw somebody suggested that you just command strip some usb ports to the side or to the back of your um nightstand so that's what i'm gonna do for like our chargers um and things like that so i got two of these you plug it in like normal but i'm just gonna command strip these to the back of our nightstand um to kind of conceal cords and things like that so i got two of these one for mine one for bailey's um okay i think that's it other than the dirt cheap stuff now, I scored so big, you guys, like not even joking. Um, if you don't know what Dirt Cheap is, it's basically like a, a resale store. So they get a lot of stuff from Target. They've gotten stuff from like uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I see a lot of Studio McGee stuff. I see like a lot of Target stuff. Um, They've got furniture, appliances, clothes, shoes, literally everything. And I love to go there. I feel like I go like once a week. This mirror. Can you see it? Hold on. Uh, yes, our Christmas tree is still up. Um, I'll try to do a close up for you guys. But I found this mirror. And... <laughs> this full length body mirror oh my gosh okay let me try to get you guys a close-up let me take all the packaging off too okay you guys so this is the first one literally so perfect and then the second one is this one don't mind the room you guys know it's a mess right now because we're doing everything but it's got the same kind of style like very french um style this one's from target um but i love it I'm so happy, and I got both of these for $40. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, guys, so I picked up the bed frame earlier from Home Depot. I just did curbside pickup, um, but we ended up having an issue with our washer, and so we needed to get that fixed, um, so we're just now getting started on it. It's like almost 8 o'clock or something, um, but here it is. Oh. Um, we're going to hopefully get the whole thing built tonight. I mean, I guess if we get started, we don't really have any other option. Um, so I will obviously bring you guys along with us. So let's go.
morning guys so it is the next day we <laughs> go crazy go crazy <laughs> um we are finishing up the bedroom finally we are about to hang the curtains which i showed you guys um in another clip um, and then I just need to get a few decor items. I need to get a lampshade for that lamp. Um, I want to, I think, get a couple baskets to put under our nightstand to store extra stuff like some of my um, books that I read, um, diapers and things like that for when we're in this room and <laughs> he needs a diaper change because you don't always want to have to walk to a different room. Um, so that kind of stuff. But... For the most part, we're done. Okay, quick update. Um, it's dark in our room right now because we had to cut the breaker because last minute we decided to change out our old ugly um, ceiling fan and uh, we got some baskets for underneath our nightstands, things like that. But since it's kind of dark right now while we're doing this, I'm just going to show you everything like when the light is up so all right you guys we are on the last stretch of our bedroom makeover <sighs> we had to um wait a couple of days to get some things finish up some things but we are basically done we did get a brand new fan just a quick glimpse <laughs> that's it um, so we found out that older fans have a wider, like, base or mount part, and newer fans have a smaller part, so we had to patch, like, where the old one was, and now we're having to paint over it, so that's why there's tape up there and stuff, but we are basically done. I'm so excited to wrap this whole project up, um... And so far, we love how it looks. It feels so much more cozy than it did before. So, we're really excited. I'll show you Hendrix. Hi, lovey. Are you excited, too? Are you excited, too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So our bedroom is finally done and I think I mentioned this in the beginning of this Stop looking at me like that. What? I think you're doing a great job <laughs> Okay, anyways, I think I mentioned um, This in the very beginning of this video, but we kind of neglected this room um, And we've been here for almost two years It's, been almost it's like the only years. room. It's like the only room we haven't like really put any time into yeah. and finished I think it's just cuz like we're like, well, it's only us seeing it a lot. Right. And we're the only ones sleeping in it, so it doesn't exactly. really matter. Exactly. I think we were focusing on all the other rooms because nobody goes in our bedroom. It's just us. But all the other rooms are done. And so I really felt like we should have our own space where we actually feel happy walking into. Um, so that's what this is. And I hope you guys enjoy the bedroom. <laughs> Hope you guys love it as much as we do it seriously just feels so good to walk into your own space and to actually love um where you are and how it looks and how it feels and everything so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, um, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, I know I said all the rooms are done, but there's always a project going on in this house. So if you want to watch along and be a part of our family, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.